So what a sight this is. Another edition of this proud competition, just seemingly bigger and better still. Faces, of course, have come and gone, but some things never change. Those first-day feelings, new hopes, new expectations, and the belief that maybe, just maybe, this time it will be your turn. And the match day noise at this place is truly special. The pride, the passion, it adds to a massive sense of occasion. But as you can see, we've already started here. Well, that is good, super running, sharp movement. Came up against a defender, though, who was ever so determined. They've managed to get it away. Gabriel Jesus threads one in. That's positional gold. The utilization of space. Decent hit! It's there! Well, they would have been looking at him to produce the goods, and that was very kind of him to oblige so early. And a trademark move ends with the inevitable classy finish. Well, it's an example of counter-attacking at its finest. Real cut and thrust. So we have had the first significant moment. It is 1-0. Yeah, I think for them to get their noses in front away from home is brilliant, but these home fans will demand a response. What a save! Has a go! Now he wants to get in on the act here. Arsenal really are in the ascendancy here, and they know they have to register while that's the case. And we have our very first corner. Well, he got rid because he was under pressure. And now a sudden chance to counter. Havertz! It's there! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Arsenal take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Expertly cut out, really nicely done. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. And now the hit, and a terrific save from the keeper. Odegaard actually didn't do an awful lot wrong, to be honest. Saka, that is ended up in no man's land. Well, the idea was a good one, the execution of it not quite so. Clearly is miffed, having made the... Havertz! Not... He can pounce on that! And he's straight offside. He's got plenty of space out wide here. He is through here. Swung over into the terrific header. Oh, that was a brilliant save. I think he's done great there, both reading it and dealing with it. He's found a way through. That's a good run down the left. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. Saka gets it back. Looking to set free a run. Havertz! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Havertz really must be thinking what he has to do to score there. It's their second corner of the game. No, he didn't quite meet it right. So, third corner of the game. Big header! And it's there! And that for him is goal number 10. 
straight corner, and he did the rest. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Arsenal find a position of the real strength now. Time. Martinelli, now the finish! Really well taken goal. A quite incredible spell, they are flying. That looks like a preconceived plan, win the ball and then unleash.